we'll just talk about discovery. Yeah. It's a common one. From the reps that I speak to, a lot of them are struggling with sounding naturally curious. Like, I, I don't know how to sound naturally curious. It feels like I'm interrogating or I'm just like going through the, the motions of asking questions. So how do I sound more curious? And so um, I started paying attention to um, how I communicate with like friends or whatever it is. And I noticed that whenever I'm genuinely curious about something, I'll do two, I'll say two things, not necessarily at the same time, but I'll, from time to time, I'll say it this way. Some other times I'll say it that, that way. And one of the words is by the way. And it, and then the other word is like curious or I'm curious. So I'll say something like, mm-hmm. by the way, Jason, you mentioned earlier that you were doing stand up comedy. I'm curious. And so I use those words interchangeably. And so if you implement the just the words, by the way, in curious, saying those words will almost force naturally force your brain and your tone to sound more curious just because the word is curious. Um, that, that's a very like direct example of something that I teach. I love that because it's uh, it's little prompts, I think, that are super important. Any kind of habit creation, having a trigger for that habit, super important, especially if it's something that's really easy to do. What I'm kind of getting from you in this actually is like the way that I am thinking about it is a lot of your mood and your current mindset is how you think about stuff internally in your head, obviously. And then there's another component around your physicality. It's why I like to stand up when I make cold calls Mm. versus when I sit down. It's why I like to, when I'm delivering a training or coaching call on Zoom, I stand up during that call because that's what I would normally be doing if I was speaking in front of the group. And my energy is higher. And that automatically fixes a lot of the stuff around my mood and my tonality and all that kind of stuff. And what I'm hearing here too, the common critique of tonality is it, you know, a lot of people might say, oh, you should just be curious and it will naturally come out in your tonality. Well, that's really easy to say to someone that can turn that on like that. That's what about the person that's not naturally curious? There's this prompt also where you can you can almost attack this from the other end of it too and just start doing it, the action. Even if it's not even if you don't feel curious, just saying those words, like you said, it forces you to, it's almost like a prompt to yourself. And I think of that with these kind of things, if if you're listening to this, think of little prompts like this. By the way, I'm curious. Follow when prospects share some juicy details, just make a habit of responding in that way. And you'll ask a question that sounds like you're coming from a place of curiosity. And before you know it, you will start to be more curious. I don't know. What do you, what do you think of that? That's just kind of occurred to me. Yeah. yeah, hundred percent. You just have a better way of articulating than I do. I have brain fogs (laughs) from not sleeping with my kids, but, (laughs) but I think there's in psychology, I don't know if there, if this is like the scientific term, I doubt it's the scientific term, but it's like the power stance. Um, where oh, yeah. yep. if you want to feel power powerful, just like, yeah, power posing, like stand with your hands open and all that. I've tried it. It, it works. You just have to sort of meditate on it a little bit, like stand up and mm. like, like let it sort of in, like engulf you, but it works. And if you want to like, it's funny if you ever watch like, uh, any sort of shows or movies and it, it's like the person going to like the bar and they want to seem cool and natural. So it's like, okay, so they lean on the thing. Cause that's what you naturally yeah. do when you feel comfortable. So those work, those prompts work. If you want to, I remember I was getting on, um, I think it was John Barrows. He had me on his uh, uh, like webinar, whatever it was uh, one time. It was my first time there. I was like really nervous. I was like, yeah. I'm nervous. I sort of like tense up and I, I talk fast and I, and I mumble. And so I was like, all right, what would someone that is relaxed do? What do I do when I'm talking to a friend, when I'm talking to Jason? I probably sort of lean back a little bit. I'd breathe a little slower because I'm relaxed. Um, I'd feel comfortable with pauses. So my prompt was lean back, loosen up, like hands out, lean a little bit to the side, breathe slower. That's another little trick. Try to breathe fast and talk slow at the same time. It's literally impossible. You're forced Mm -hmm. to talk fast because you're breathing slow. So if you breathe slow, it'll force you to talk slower. And that's another little trick or little prompt you can do to control your your tone and your pace of speech. But 1,000%, there's there's something with – um, the physical movement of your body and then attaching that to like how it comes out in word or in tone. 